Using pedals like those on bicycles, these aircraft can take off and stay in flight solely through pedaling without any engine, thus earning the name human-powered aircraft. They utilize ultra-lightweight materials that have revolutionized construction techniques, creating aircraft with wingspans exceeding 90 feet, yet weighing just over 66 pounds, making them lighter than an average 12-year-old. Designed to break records, these machines provide an exhilarating flight experience powered by human effort. From human-powered flapping airplanes to helicopters, here are the top 10 human-powered aircraft and how they work. Dash PA The dead simple human-powered airplane, or simply Dash PA, is a human-powered flying project led by Alec Proudfoot. Launched in late 2010 by a group of engineers, the project was created for fun and to learn through designing and building something challenging and unconventional. To make this human-powered airplane functional, it needed to be extremely light yet very large. As such, the Dash PA was designed with a wingspan of 109 feet, with an extended wing version reaching 131 feet, while keeping the weight under 99 pounds. This was achieved using a combination of lightweight materials, such as high-strength carbon fiber composites, plastic films, foams, wood, and a minimal amount of metal, all bonded together with high-strength adhesives. The plane features well-modeled aerodynamics, accurate mass and inertia estimates, and a few moving parts. It was designed to fly at 14 miles per hour, and to achieve this flight, a cyclist pedals to rotate a single propeller, enabling the plane to take off and stay airborne. The Dash PA's first flight took place on December 5, 2015, at Half Moon Bay Airport, piloted by Proudfoot, during which the aircraft flew 764 feet. Since then, more than eight pilots have completed a total of 40 flights, covering over 36,089 feet in approximately 27 hours of total flight time. Snowbird Human-Powered Aircraft Humanity spent centuries trying to fly like birds by flapping wings before finally developing the technologies needed to soar with balloons and then taking to the air with gas-powered fixed-wing aircraft. Throughout history, there have been numerous attempts to achieve bird-like flight using human power. Leonardo da Vinci is often credited with creating the first design for a human-powered ornithopter in 1485. Since then, many have tried to make this form of flight a reality. But it became a reality in 2010, when a team from the University of Toronto succeeded, where many before them had failed, achieving a world record for sustained flight in a human-powered aircraft with flapping wings, making the Snowbird the first human-powered ornithopter that achieved flight by flapping its wings. It has a wingspan of 105 feet, comparable to that of a Boeing 737, and weighs 95 pounds. The aircraft was primarily constructed from carbon fiber, balsa wood, basswood, and foam. The pedals are connected to the wings through a system of pumps and pulleys. Due to the need to limit weight, Snowbird does not have launch run-up equipment and requires a two-assist at launch. The downward flap required 700 pounds of force to flap the long wings like a bird and achieved a speed of 15.9 miles per hour. It cost around $200,000, excluding donated materials and time. Aerovelo Atlas The Aerovelo Atlas is the first human-powered helicopter to achieve the goals of the American Helicopter Society International's Igor Sikorsky Human-Powered Helicopter Competition. The challenge was to create a human-powered helicopter capable of hovering for 60 seconds and reaching a minimum altitude of 10 feet. Designed by Dr. Todd Reichert and Dr. Cameron Robertson from the University of Toronto, the Atlas was constructed with the assistance of students and graduates from the university. On June 13, 2013, the Aerovelo team flew the Atlas for 64 seconds and reached an altitude of 11 feet in a Toronto-area arena, winning the $250,000 prize. 
It is the largest human-powered helicopter ever flown and the second largest helicopter overall, with a tip-to-tip -tip rotor span of 154 feet second only to the Russian Mil V-12. The helicopter utilized four rotors, each weighing a mere 25 pounds, and was powered by a modified bicycle connected to the rotors with a thin composite cable. Control was achieved by leaning the bike, which flexed the entire helicopter frame, tilting the rotor axis. The design specifically took advantage of the ground effect to fly, and it met the competition's altitude requirement. Sakai Windmill Club Human-Powered Planes For over three decades, the Osaka Municipal University Sakai Windmill Club has been crafting and flying human-powered aircraft, aiming to make a mark at the prestigious Birdman contest. Since their debut in 1994, these dedicated students have participated over 20 times, securing victories in six different categories. Each year, Funded by generous donations, they meticulously gather materials such as carbon pipes for the main wing and essential metal parts to make a special human-powered aircraft different from that of the previous year. This relentless pursuit of innovation has seen them achieve remarkable feats, including piloted flights soaring over 19 kilometers. Gamera 2 Human-Powered Helicopters The University of Maryland's Gamera 2 is an upgraded version of the Gamera 1, designed to win the $250,000 Sikorsky Prize for human-powered helicopters. This Quadrator helicopter was built to set an official flight duration record approved by the National Aeronautic Association as part of the American Helicopter Society's Igor 1 Sikorsky Human-Powered Helicopter Competition. It features a 60-foot X-shaped frame with a 42-foot rotor at each end. It is constructed using lightweight materials like balsa, foam, mylar, and carbon fiber for maximum strength and stiffness. The entire vehicle weighs 101 pounds, with each rotor weighing 7 pounds and the pilot weighing 107 pounds. The helicopter is powered by the pilot using both hand and foot pedals from a pod suspended beneath the frame, this method provides up to 20% more power for a 60-second flight than using foot pedals alone. The power is transferred to the rotors via a spectra line, similar to a lawnmower pull starter. The line can spool the rotors for up to 90 seconds and needs to be rewound for each attempt, but it is much lighter than a continuous chain or belt drive. Airglow Human Powered Aircraft Airglow is a pedal-driven, human-powered aircraft designed by brothers John and Mark McIntyre from Cambridgeshire, England. Built over three years to exacting standards, it is one of the lightest and most durable human-powered aircraft. Unlike many other human-powered aircraft, Airglow was created for enjoyment rather than record-breaking. Its first flight took place on July 20, 1990, with 17-year-old Nick Weston as the pilot. Over the next five years, Airglow completed 50 to 100 flights without any accidents. The design of Airglow features a main wing at the front, a tail and elevator at the back, and a pusher propeller. It employs a fly-by-wire control system and requires 450 to 500 watts for takeoff and 275 to 300 watts for sustained flight. In 2012, Airglow won the Icarus Cup at Lasham Airfield, and currently it serves as a testbed for further human-powered aircraft improvements. Gossamer Condor The MacReady Gossamer Condor was the first human-powered aircraft capable of sustained and controlled flight. Achieving this milestone led it to win the Creamer Prize in 1977. Designed by Paul MacReady of Aerovironment, it underwent three iterations. The initial Pasadena proof of concept, followed by versions in Mojave and Shafter, which set records. Piloted by Brian Allen, it famously completed a figure eight course at Minterfield, California on August 23, 1977. 
Today, the Gossamer Condor is preserved at the Smithsonian National Air and Space Museum, symbolizing a pivotal achievement in aviation. Its success paved the way for subsequent experimental aircraft, including the renowned Gossamer Albatross. Gossamer Albatross The Gossamer Albatross was a remarkable human-powered aircraft designed by American aeronautical engineer Dr. Paul B. McCready and built by his company, Aerovironment. On June 12, 1979, it achieved a historic feat by crossing the English Channel, winning the second Creamer Prize, a prestigious award worth £100,000, equivalent to £659,000 in 2024. This flight covered 22.2 miles in just 2 hours and 49 minutes. Piloted by amateur cyclist Brian Allen, the Gossamer Albatross featured a unique canard configuration, with a large horizontal stabilizer positioned forward of the wing. Its lightweight carbon fiber frame and polystyrene ribs allowed it to fly using only 300 watts of power in calm air. Despite challenges like radio failure, dehydration, and leg cramps, Allen skillfully navigated through headwinds and successfully landed on the beach at Cape Grenet in France. This achievement echoed Louis Blériot's historic 1909 Channel Crossing and marked a significant milestone in human-powered aviation. MIT Daedalus The Daedalus 88 was part of the MIT Aeronautics and Astronautics Department's ambitious human-powered aircraft project. Named after the mythological craftsman Daedalus, this aircraft was meticulously designed and constructed by a team from MIT. On April 23, 1988, the Daedalus 88 achieved an extraordinary feat by flying an impressive 115.11 kilometers, or approximately 71.5 miles, from Crete to Santorini in just 3 hours and 54 minutes. The pilot for this historic flight was none other than Olympic cyclist Canelos Canelopoulos. The aircraft, constructed from lightweight materials, flew at altitudes ranging between 15 and 30 feet. Unfortunately, the flight ended in the water near Santorini due to gusty winds causing structural failure. Despite this, the Daedalus 88 holds official FAI world records for distance, straight line distance, and duration among human-powered aircraft. PSU Zephyrus the PSU Zephyrus is a human-powered aircraft being built by the Penn State ARSP 404H team. This single-seat airplane, made from composite materials, has a single propeller and high wings and is designed to compete in the Creamer Prize Sports Competition. The challenge is to complete an equilateral triangle course with 500-meter sides within 7 minutes, maintaining an average airspeed of at least 5 meters per second. The aircraft must not fall below this speed for more than 20 seconds for the flight to be official. The Zephyrus also fulfills these project requirements, and it is designed for a 1.78-meter pilot, ensuring comfort and proper balance. The fuselage is streamlined for low drag and optimized for maneuverability in crosswinds. The internal structure securely holds the seat while providing maximum visibility for the pilot. The ailerons, attached with a piano hinge, maintain smooth airflow for weight efficiency and ease of construction.